So let's first of all deal with the equation here. This quad this is a quadratic expression. So we know that uh, sine squared x is the same as uh, one minus cos squared x. So we replace our our sine squared x with uh, one minus cos x so we have 8 into bracket 1 minus cos squared x uh, plus 2 cos x minus 5 is equals to 0 uh, when you open the bracket and you arrange the equation you end up with 8 cos squared x uh, minus 2 cos x and minus 3 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic uh, equation and we can factorize it and when you factorize it you have this is a 4 cos x minus 3 and then we have uh, we have 2 cos x plus 1 is equals to 0. Now we have our cos x is equals to uh, this will be uh, 3 over 4 or minus a half. Now uh, in our unit circle Tangent, when tangent is negative, then it means it is not an acute angle. So we are left with uh, the cosine cos x is equals to, uh, we have uh, 0 0.75. Now we have, uh, we have our cosine and using that, since we know our cos x is 3 over 4, so we can use a triangle. This is a right angle triangle. And as we say, this is our x. Cosine is, is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So it means the adjacent side is 3 and the hypotenuse is 4. So to get the opposite side, then you say that uh, uh, which we can call our h, our h is equal to uh, the square root of uh, 4 squared minus 3 squared, which is the same as the square root of 7. Now that we have the opposite side, we can now get the tangent, uh, which we are in part B of the question and we say that uh, tangent of angle X is equals to the opposite side which is the same as root 7 divided by the adjacent side which is equals to 3 so that is how you work out that question and by completing uh, here you get 3 marks up to there so and here you get one mark so there are there are ma two marks here for changing the equation and also working it out and then finally part b uh, you get one mark